Yeah. Leonard, congratulations on getting Rolando the big fight against Isaac Cruz. How'd it come together? Well, he had a shitty offer from that other situation, so this is actually the better fight. The better fight. Timing is everything. It's all about Roley defending his title in a huge fight. First fight on Amazon Prime. Can't wait to see him knock people out. How do we define a shitty offer in 2024? Well, I don't want to get into that. It's not about <laughs> none of that. It's about Roley versus Pitbull. It's all it's about. Roley versus Pitbull. I'm not thinking about nothing and nobody else. All about Roley defending his title, knocking Pitbull ass out cold. What's Roley got to do to make that happen in the fight? Well, one, he's already got started with a, uh, a good training camp, and, and training camp is always the preparation. You put in the work, and... Tank would have knocked him out, um, but again, Tank came into that fight with a hurt hand, so Roley's going to go in there and do what he got to do. Roley, uh, Roley, you've changed uh, coaches since we've seen you last. Uh, Leonard just mentioned the training camp being one of your better ones. Uh, how's the training camp been without you? Uh, I didn't change trainers. I went back to my original trainer, which was Salah. All my success, me getting signed to, uh, to Mayweather promotion, all that stuff, that's all work from Salas. Salas and my father. So, I mean, I went back to my original trainer. That's all that happened. Yesterday, uh, Ryan said that something about 945000 you're going to get for this fight for being the co main, and you could have got it $5 million for being the main event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no, no, let them, I, I got this for right, right, right. I'm going to tell you like this. The only time Ryan ever made money is when he fought over here on PBC with Al Heyman. Al Heyman, uh, it's, it's like what Drake said, Al Heyman checks out for all of my events, right? They can fuck it, please. Al Heyman gave me a way better deal, that's all I said. Chaparito, gordito, como está ahora el gordito ahora, parece como un pug. I'm an English bulldog. It's not fácil, it's hard. It's a dog. No, no, it's a dog. He's going to come here to fight with me, but let's see if he's going to get all the tablets that are coming forward. Excellent, excellent. I appreciate it. He's going to run right into it because he has no other choice. He literally has no other choice. You could do all that stuff with all these guys that don't punch or any of that stuff. Like, let, let's be honest. His best fight was against Javante Davis with one hand. Javante Davis got that fight really on a month's notice because he was originally supposed to fight me. And then on top of that, too, this is the first time in history Javante fought somebody that's shorter than him. Everybody else, Diego Mandaleno been burnt out forever. Uh, Gamboa been burnt out forever. And then everybody else is a 126-pounder coming up with no power. So, I mean, you guys can say whatever you guys want, but I mean, when he's going to get hit by a real 140-pounder, uh, it's going to be real bad. Especially the hardest hitter in the world under 147 pounds. Shit. And then, Leonard, are you confident the deal can get done with Ryan if Roley wins this fight? I'm not thinking about Ryan Garcia. This is all about Roley versus people. Nobody this cares. is the Roley show. Nobody cares about them. They blew their chance. Mayweather promotions, the past, the present, and the future of sports and entertainment. Do you have to, to let your hands go sooner in the fight than you did in the Barroso fight to, to win this fight? I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to go at him. He's going to go at me. We're going to bang it out. Like this, you know, he's Mexican. We're gonna we're gonna do it just like they do in Mexico. One punch for me, one punch for you, just like that. <laughs> what, what do you make of uh, this? What do you make of just how compact everything he does? Not like his punches are compact. And they're not really compact. He, he he opens up wide every time he throws a punch. Yeah, he just opens up wide. He you know he he he, he walks up and then he just throws punches. He almost falls over every single time he throws a punch. His balance is horrible, you know, but, you know, I, like I say, he, I will give him this, though. He does have some balls, though. I'll give him that. He does have some balls. And well, it was, so is it rolling the counter punch of his fight a little bit? No, I'm going to go at him, and I'm going to just beat the fuck out of him. How do you account for the volume and the sheer firepower of Pinto Cruz that will be coming at you on the 30th? No, no, the what? How do you account for the firepower and the value that Pitbull Cruz uh, brings into the ring? I mean, he only has volume if you stand right in front of him. If not, he just 
falls over almost every single time. But you say you are going to stand right in front of her. Yeah, but I mean, I stand right in front of her. I can move this way and move this way, right? Speaking I, of standing right in front of her, there's this video where that thing is standing like the little thing. You're just ducking it, going under, like trailing. Working on your defense. Yeah, and Canelo copied me. And Canelo copied me. Canelo copied me. Uh, I know it's just a. I mean, it's that, that's been around forever. It's been around forever. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. My, I remember as a kid, I remember my dad be, be in the bathroom, right? He he'd, uh, he had, he had um, uh, like a broomstick, like one of the metal ones, but like bent over it. And he'd just be like over here the whole time, ba 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 all day. And I'd just be like, well, you look at the you look at the mirror, so I'm filled with sweat and stuff. <laughs> but I'd be doing that all damn day. How did you size him up for the face-off? Like, not, 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 like, like, you know, he's really big, but he has a really big head, too. It's going to be hard to miss. <laughs> Le Leonard, what is your response to Ryan, who says Mayweather might have changed his mind during that meeting in Las Vegas to go back uh, and take the fight? I don't have no response. I wasn't there, and Floyd Mayweather, he is the best at what he does, meaning being the he's TBE. And he's been a mentor to a lot of a lot of these young fighters, and you know he gives tremendous advice. Um, Ryan's probably a guy that looks up to him. I don't know. I'm not. I wasn't there. Not in their business. Just doing what we got to go do. Uh, another fighter you guys promote, Carmel Moten. I know the undercard hasn't been announced yet, but can we expect to see him on this card? Almost definitely. He's definitely fighting. Uh, he's a tremendous young fighter. Um, just expecting major, major things with him moving forward, and you will see him. He'll be very busy this year, um, and he'll be world champion within a year. I'll tell you guys, Carmel Moulton is a tremendous fighter. That's all I'd say. And, uh, he will be yeah, all of that. It just. It makes me think, right, of all the times that, you know, me and Carmel, you know, we're over there doing videos together, you know, all that stuff, right? And, um. I'm really, I'm really happy for him. I'm happy that he has the best team in boxing behind him. What makes him stand out as a as a standout fighter? He's an aggressive fighter. He can crack, you know. I mean, shoot, I mean, getting knocked out at 17 years old, he's getting knockouts. He, you know, he, he's beating undefeated dudes. They're all undefeated. Yeah. Everybody yeah. fight undefeated, right? So I mean, he's not fighting no, like he's not over here like every other 16, 17 year old go bending a record in Mexico with uh, <laughs> with what with it, um, he, you know, over there pay five hundred dollars, make sure you win, you know, be like. <laughs> You know, so it's uh, he's fighting real dudes with real pulses, you know, and he and he's demolishing them. He's an exciting young fighter, and uh, you know, I'm I'm very happy for him. You know, I wish him nothing but the best. And, and, and he needs to be on my card. He needs to be on this card. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be on the he, card. He, he he needs to be on this card. What do you think of Romeo Pittman? Uh, I think it's, I think it's an all action fight for as long as it lasts. Romeo's gonna definitely knock him out. No doubt in my mind, he's going to knock him out. Well, Romy, can you say something in Spanish? To, uh, Shakur Stevenson, maybe retiring, possibly retiring. I think he's just emotional that uh, Navarrete got a was it Navarrete, no, got a world title shot. But uh, who cares? That did this? I mean, we're, we're on pay per view. We're not talking about no Shakur Stevenson. He ain't no pay per view fighter, anyways. What is your message to all the fighters who've been kind of critiquing you, like Regis Progre, Haney, Garcia, calling you the weakest? 140 pound champion and all that stuff. A lot of people have been offering their opinions about you. What's your message to them? When I didn't have a belt and I tried to call and fight every single one of them, they all fucking duck and ran and now I have a belt. They want to say all this stuff. But I don't see them all over here trying to do it. So they can say whatever the hell they want. I just know every single one of them has twice as many fights as me and I did the fastest in history. I started boxing 17. I got signed to Floyd when I was 20, right? I was 20 years old, right? And uh, I did three years in my boxing career and look at it like this. I became world champion twice at 24 and at 27 years old. So, yeah, ain't nobody do it faster than me. Ain't nobody on pay-per-view faster than me. Ain't nobody sell at the Barclays Center with me and Tank that did that shit. I know I played a huge, huge part of that. So, yeah. What round do you see this fight ended in? Which round you predict? Me? Yeah. 
It's a good fight. It's a good fight. No, we're trying. We're trying. It's an excellent fight. It's an excellent fight. He's going to come. He, he, he's definitely going to come. But he's getting knocked out. He's getting knocked out. Uh, Rody, can you say something in Spanish about our people and uh, this fight? Chihuahua. Is it Chihuahua? <laughs> nah. Um, in Spanish? Yeah, if can. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo ves esta pelea? Muy fácil. ¿Es muy fácil? Muy fácil. ¿La ganarías por knockout? Por knockout. ¿Y por qué dices que es un chihuahua? ¿Tú no oíste toda esa gente? <laughs> Ahí. Fácil, that's easy, right? Not, yeah, yeah. not difícil. Not difícil. How about the rest of the 140 pound picture? Do you see yourself going into the big, everybody, big fights? Everybody else at 140, nobody cares about them. They can say whatever the hell they want. We got uh, Takeover Thursday. We got, uh, you know, we, we got uh, 30K pay-per-view buys, and we have the dude nobody even heard of. Who's so, that? You mean? Right, I, I don't even know his name at this point, right? Um, so, and, and Garcia. No, no, no. I mean, well, we're talking about belt holders. Gotcha. Ryan Garcia ain't no damn belt holder. He never been champ. So, so... Who cares about them? We're doing big things over here. My job is to make 140 the biggest and the most popping division in boxing. And uh, we're on a big start right here. We're on Amazon Prime. We're I'm backed by the largest biggest platform in the world. The biggest platform in the world, the largest company in the world, and uh, nothing but to grow over here. Ronnie, it seemed like uh, I saw a video a few months ago. You were saying that you know you you, you weren't going to come back. So you like the 